For astrophotography with mobile phones or cell phones, depending on where you are in the world, there are a few accessories that I think this is a must have, like a tripod, like a phone holder. And nowadays we seem to be doing a lot more all night sort of photography, time lapses or star trails, power starts to become an issue. Over time, I've looked at a number of power banks, uh, different size, different capacities and stuff, but almost all of them you gotta plug into the phone. And I was sent something, and I've been testing it for a little while now, and this one here is actually a wireless one. It works with MagSafe phones, so it's gonna work with all your iPhones that are MagSafe, but as you guys who watch this show regularly enough know that I'm now using a Samsung phone and I've got a MagSafe uh, holder on the back of that and it holds on there fine, it charges fine with this as well. This is a 10,000 milliamp wireless charger from Tufon. You may have be familiar with this. I've done some different uh, reviews for this company in the past. I like the fact that it's wireless though. I really like this because it gives us two options to charge. If you're doing something, say, with the iPhone and the LumiLapse and doing astrophotography in that regard, you can put this on the back of your phone, charge your phone wirelessly, but have the uh, LumiLapse plugged in down the bottom here. Or conversely, you might be doing multiple shoots or multiple phones doing the same thing at the same time. You can charge one wirelessly and charge one we're wired. Wirelessly, this is going to charge at 10 watts, and wired, it's going to charge at 20 watts. So the, the variables are there, but at 10,000 milliamps, this is going to charge your iPhone, your regular iPhone size, once or twice, I think it's going to be, but something like an iPhone 16 Pro Max is going to charge it just over once. So it's going to do a whole night worth of photography for you without depleting your battery. The part here where it actually touches your phone, it's got like a rubber coating on it, so it doesn't scratch your phone or scratch your case. On the other side of here, it's got a, a pretty good display here. It'll show you that it's charging. It'll show you a percentage as well. So if you go out and check on your device in the middle of the night, you're going to see a percentage of battery that's left in this, which is very handy. And on the bottom in here, you've got the, uh, the button over the side here, and you've got a USB-C here. The USB-C is to charge the device, and it's also, it's in and out is what I'm trying to say. There are pros and cons to this pro is, it's tiny, it is, it is super small. Like this here compared to the iPhone or the uh, Samsung S25 Ultra, like it's, it's a fairly small device at 10,000 milliamps, which is bloody good. It's quite impressive that they got it into such a, a small box here. The display on the bottom here, I really like that as well. It's always on when you're charging. It's, it's, it's good, I like it. Downsides is for this phone, uh, it's going to cover and this is just one of those things with MagSafe and uh, this style of phone, is I'm gonna put that on there and you can see it's going to cover up the telephoto, the super tele on this, on this particular phone. You can turn it like on a bit of an angle there and get it out, but realistically for shooting the all night stuff that I would recommend this for, um, it's not really an issue because we don't do it with that particular lens anyway. The other downside of this, if you are using it for that, is that if you're using a MagSafe uh, phone holder, uh, this is not going to work. This is going to take that spot. It, ideally, we would have a magnet here as well, so you could put that onto the, to the uh, phone holder. And then even with a uh, regular phone holder, you'll see here it's taking up a fair bit of space on this phone. So we need to turn it on a side like this and clamp your phone holder down the bottom there, which is not a big deal. It's just not ideal. Keep in mind the stuff that we do here on this channel, we're pushing the product that we get sent or we use the phones for astrophotography we've got. We're not really doing things straight out of the box, but for doing this all night stuff, it works sweet.